sir, the Mark 22 is nearly complete. Any other thing you'd like to add to it? Throw some hot rod right in there. All right. This suit is on fire. <laughs> Whoa. It really is on fire. What can I say? I put the hot in hot toys. Want the hottest hot toy ever? Then get your hot toys hot rod at SideshowCollectibles.com exclusively through them. Link is in the description. What up big kids, here's your big review of the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Mark 22 Hot Rod 1 6 scale die cast collectible figure. And if you want to buy this figure, you can buy it exclusively at Sideshow Collectibles, link is in the description. The packaging is the same kind of packaging we've gotten from the other die cast figures like Iron Patriot and Mark 42 and War Machine. You got that kind of see-through packaging with these big thick white lines with the Mark 22 Hot Rod armor. It has the big Hot Toys exclusive sticker Iron Man 3 on the top right there, MMS 272 or die Diecast 8 Hot Rod Mark uh, 22 1.6 scale collectible figure movie masterpiece series diecast. Size of the box has that gunmetal gray going on. It says Hot Rod Mark 42 with the flames at the bottom. Also on the other side, continues that same picture from the front. It says Hot Rod Mark 22 with also more flames. Top of the box says Hot Rod Mark 22. Back of the figure shows all the crits of all the people who made this really hot hot toy. Uh, it also has a big old warning label. Warning you want to choke on the hot rod. He's super hot. Oh, in your mouth. Ah. The way you open it, it's like other die cast figure. It splits in the middle right here. You take off the top and then you take off the bottom. And then the inner packaging is that same styrofoam that we've gotten from the other die cast figures or made of the House Party Protocol Hall of Armor pieces. It says hot. Rod Mark 22, a nice indent. Yeah, just foam encasing the whole way around with this plastic encasing that holds his stand and the very back. And then when you take out this casing from the top right here, and be very careful when you do it. And there you can see Hot Rod uh, in his little shell. Uh, looking all hot. Well, let's see how hot this hot toy really is. And here we got the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys die cast. Uh, damn it. And here we got the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Mark 22 Hot Rod 1 6 scale movie masterpiece die cast figure. This figure is a beautiful reaping, but definitely not essential unless you're an Iron Man fanatic like me. Let's take a closer look at it. Now, if you couldn't tell already, the Mark 22 is pretty much a repaint of Iron Patriot, but actually, in the history of this armor, this armor inspires War Machine Mark II, which inspires the Iron Patriot armor. So, this armor actually came out first, even though we did see Iron Patriot and War Machine before this. The sculpt is uh, the War Machine Iron Patriot mold. Well, actually, it's the Iron Patriot because of the star right here on the chest and the arc reactor, which is really beautiful. I do love the silver and really beautiful. And of course, what makes this very different, it doesn't have a shoulder cannon. So, but if you do have the shoulder cannon from the Iron Patriot War Machine, you can't fit it on there. Here's the shoulder cannon of Iron Patriot, and you can see right here, you can stick it right in. And yeah, so if you want a metal shoulder cannon, it just looks beautiful. Now here is where it makes a hot rod. This red right here, which I absolutely love. And I love that like in the finger uh, hand section, it has that gray and it just looks really cool. It's supposed to be kind of like a sports car motif with the flame effect. I actually wish it was more prominent on here than what we got, but it still works. And you can see here, it's just really beautiful paint scheme right here. And uh, just there's really sparkles in there. I love the sparkles and you can see this silver strip right there. By the way, in the instructions warning, there is some kind of sharper edges on the back right here. So be careful of that, but more of those silver bits in the lake. And then it starts to get the red and the red. I love how, oh, by the way, there's his uh, hot bud, <laughs> hot bud. But yeah, you can see the red starts to come down the legs and then the flames. Yeah, his legs are on fire, but yeah. I really love the paint right here. Now that's where the hot rod comes in. And the feet look so cool. So it's like you get this yellow, orange, and red motif going on. I wish it was more, like I wish it was on the actual arms. That actually would look even better like if there were some flames on the arms, but that's just a minor nitpick. Hot Rod does have the light up feature for just like the War Machine and Iron Patriot. You do get this little screwdriver and all the batteries. You get a total of 12 batteries so you have to put in the head, the in the back, and in the arms right here. You take off this part right here, see the battery side, and you switch it on for his eyes, which glue very brightly. In the back here, uh, you can see it. you just flip out that and then put on the switch right here. Here we got the arc reactor nice and bright. The eyes are actually have a little bit of blue hand where this has a white in it. And then for the right arm, you just have to actually take out this part right here. It has the switch for the repulsor 
right there in the hand. And then for the right arm, you actually have to remove this whole bit right here. So you just get it on there and then flip the switch. And there you got Hot Rod with all his lights on. The lights off, how bright each of the lights are, especially the arc reactor. Like I say, yeah, there's a little blue hint in his eyes. Who wants a hot hood? Now for articulation, just like Iron Pedro and War Machine, he is super articulated. The head has two joints where it looks up that much, almost does a nice flight, and uh, looks down that much. You can also fully rotate, pivot side to side. This neck joint can also uh, move left and right if you so choose to, and it does go up and down. Now the shoulder pads are on this nice spring joint, uh, which I like. You actually can uh, pull them down so you can actually fully rotate them, which I love. They have a nice armpit joint in and out. It can go up and down in a full 90 degrees, rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow a little bit over 90 degrees, which I like. The wrist can fully rotate like this part uh, is attached to it. And the fingers have three joints and two joints on the thumbs and make a fist or do a hot bird. It does have this upper ab crunch forward and back and pivot side to side. And he does, if you pull it up here, you can see it has the three different joints in his waist, pivot side to side and do more movement and like not a full rotation. These little pieces move in and out to get his leg movement. So you can pull up that much but then if you press his butt button right there you can pull down the legs even more these parts go up so you can fully bring this up a lot more and bring that about and you can almost do the splits which I love and rotates up part of the leg bends at two points at the knee or uh, like a little bit over 90 degrees and these flaps go forward and back that much he does have ankle pivot uh, forward and back uh, has an ankle pivot side to side and a little bit of rotation and he has toe articulation so quite a bit Hot Rod comes with a few accessories including this detailed instruction manual how to install the batteries including his light up base how they do the articulation. Since it's a die cast figure, it shows not to drop it because it is heavy and it will hurt. I love that. You get a total of seven hands besides the articulated finger hands. You get a pair of fists if you so choose to. You get a pair of repulsor blast hands which work with the light up feature. And just because it came with Iron Patriot, you get a saluting hand if you want hot rod to salute. You get this little Hot Toys clear tool that uses the help with the take off things for the light up features. Just like War Machine and Iron Patriot before it, you get an interchange changeable uh, arm rocket uh, you know tank missile simply just remove this part right here uh, which is also used to like you know get to the light of feature and then you just simply plug this in and then you can have him with his tank missile if you want and last but not least you do get this display base which has Iron Man 3 Mark 22 on it this is the same that we got with War Machine Iron Man Patriot Mark 22 has like that little all of armor piece right there but it's circular and it does light up it has the metal cradle uh, since it is a die cast figure this does require three triple a batteries with and it does have an on and off switch uh, right here which you turn on you can see it's nice and bright right there especially in low lit scenes it looks cool that hot rod he's so hot right now if you think i'm really that hot kid you should touch the armor but warning you're gonna get burned really just from touching it hmm i don't see anything going on with me is it hot in here oh my god oh my god oh my god oh burn ah! Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Hot Toys Hot Rods in grade school other Hot Toys figures like Iron Patriot since he is a direct repaint of him. And you can see how much taller he is than the Tony Stark figure from the Workbench version and how much taller he is than the Marvel Legends 6 inch figure like the Iron Man 3 Mark 42. Now the fact that Hot Rod, the figure itself, is a repaint of Iron Patriot minus the shoulder cannon and the extra head and the fact that he was only in the movie for about 10 seconds Tony Stark was trying to get into the suit and it was actually destroyed by the extremist soldier. It's not essential to a lot of people that's why it is an exclusive for people that are huge Iron Man fans and building up your Hall of Armor like myself this is for you it does cost $294.99 which is exclusive Sideshow collectibles I know that is a lot get on the waitlist link is in the description if you really want this not an essential armor but the fact it is a beautiful repaint I would wish it did have some more flame effect on it personally it is a repaint of a awesome figure and it is a beautiful repaint I do love the flame effects a lot and the light of features and the art 
articulation is just so much fun factor. I do like that it comes to a light up base. For the fact that it is a die cast exclusive and there's a good amount of die cast for how limited it is, it's not a bad price at all. So if you're able to get a hold of him, I definitely want to pass him up if you're building your Hall of Armor. I would definitely recommend him. I have a wait list, a link is in the description for Sideshow Collectibles. Check out my website, SeanXLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, where I live long and love life. No more Optimus Prime. Grant me mercy, I beg of you. You, you who are without mercy now plead for it. I thought you were made of sterner stuff. I look good. No, I mean really good. Hey everyone, come look how good I look. Out of the way, Hot Rod, you flaming idiot. Whoa, this situation got too hot even for me. Time to go join my fellow Avengers. See ya. You got me killed, you moron. Just like you killed the Mandarin. The character, at least. An actor? Really? The Honest Trailer was right about you. You are almost as bad as Michael Bay. Ah, uh, not dead again. How many times is this? Like 50? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll be back. I'll be back. I've got the touch. I've got the power. <coughs> be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailer. I mean, Sean Long's toy reviews. Click the annotations for more videos. Or check me out, the epic voice of Honest Trailers, at youtube.com slash john3.0. I'm still alive. I'm only very badly burned.